Hello, my name is Dr. Stephen Shirley. I'm the clinic director of the Spinal and Sports Care Clinic, and today we're here to talk about what's the most common cause of neck pain. And to understand neck pain, it's really uh, fairly simple, but you have to understand how the structures are aligned, first of all. So this model demonstrates, this is the looking at the person from behind, and this is a model of the spine, and it shows the individual vertebra and how they're stacked upon each other. And this is the back of a person's head, and this is the front, and these are the individual bones of the neck. And of course, there's also muscles that go all the way across here, as well as ligaments. Now, the most common cause of neck pain that we see in our office is related to working on a computer. And what happens over a long period of time is it's hard because of the forces of gravity and the fact that you have to look down at both a desk and lean forward sometimes to look at a computer, is that your head starts to shift forward on your spine. And when that happens, your shoulders tend to move forward with it. So I'll demonstrate how this works with the spine. Now in this position right here, this is what's called a normal or a neutral position. And it's the position with the least amount of stress to the structures. And by those structures, we mean both the muscles and the joints. Both of those, those structures have a high density of nerve tissue. And when they have stress put upon them, it causes pain, such as aching pain, stiffness, and if it's really bad, it can cause sharp or burning pain. Now, when you work at a computer, what happens is, because you tend to lean forward and either writing at a workstation or reaching out towards your mouse or to look at the screen itself, or just because you're fatigued from being at a desk for so long, the head and shoulders tend to move forward. It's a, uh, what we call anterior weight bearing. So instead of the head being here, if you can imagine it, it starts to come forward like that and slide forward and even when you're not at a computer, you tend to be in that same position. Now, some important things happen there to your anatomy when that happens over a period of time. One is the joints in your upper neck, which are at the base of your skull right here. They tend to be pushed forward into what's called extension, or kind of pushed forward like I'm demonstrating here, or if I demonstrate like that. Now, that's not good because there's a, a lot of the nerves in your upper portion of your neck go to your head. And so that will compress both the nerves and the muscles in this region that can cause headaches and upper neck pain. Now the second portion, uh, the second is really an adaptation, occurs down in the lower neck and across up into your shoulders. It's because the shoulders tend to round forward and move forward together with the neck. There tends to be shortening in these muscles up here. And what happens is the head weighs about 12 to 15 pounds. And the farther it is away from midline, the more force it's required in your upper back to hold your head upright. Well, that's fine for a short period of time, but over a long period of time, those muscles in the lower neck and shoulders up across here have a huge demand because they're essentially holding up something that when it's a neutral position is 10 pounds, but can be up to two or three times that equivalent amount of weight the further it goes forward. So in other words, your head in this position is the equivalent of 12 pounds. As it comes forward, it can be as much as three times that or up to 36 pounds of weight in terms of the stress being put down on your spine. I always say it's the, the example is like carrying a bag of heavy, heavy bag of dog food or groceries. It's a lot easier on your body to have it close to your body. The farther away it is, the more muscle force it takes to hold that up. And that's what happens when you sit at a computer for a long period of time. Now the net result of those muscles being shortened is it causes misalignments in your vertebra. And this happens again, mostly in the upper neck and then down here across the lower portion of the neck. There's little joints in the back that are called facet joints and they don't like compression put across them. As they get compressed over a period of time, they start to lose their normal motion and pretty soon you start to notice it as stiffness or an inability to turn your head or waking up in the morning really stiff in your neck. As that progresses, you get more and more muscle spasm till it reaches a point that, that patients either call us, the chiropractor, or they call their medical doctor because their pain is so bad. So that's a, a basic uh, description of the most common source of neck pain, and it's certainly the most common thing we see in our office. I hope that information was useful. If you have any questions about neck pain or anything else, give me a call or call our clinic at 509 Nine two two zero three zero three. Have a good day.